Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're taking a look at the Hesperonis. This large flightless bird lived in the late Cretaceous period, although differing websites do give a varying age range from around 99 to 66 million years ago. The bird lived in what is now North America. Now, during the Cretaceous, North America was divided into several large islands by warm, shallow seas. The western interior seaway split the continent down the middle and joined up with what is now Hudson Bay in the north and the Gulf of Mexico in the south. Hesperonis had a wide distribution, from Arkansas in the south to Alaska in the north. Even in the warm Cretaceous period, it would still have gotten very cold in northern latitudes. This may have meant Hesperonis would have migrated south for the winter, although currently evidence for this is lacking. One study trying to answer the migratory question looked at growth patterns in the bones of Hesperonis and compared them to modern migratory and non-migratory penguins. Although the study failed to find any pattern in modern penguin bones that would indicate migratory or non-migratory behaviour. Overall, the Hesperonis from the north and the south didn't differ in any substantive way that couldn't be attributed to the differences in age of the animals at death. Importantly, it looks like the animals reached a skeletal maturity that's adult size and a cessation of major changes in the skeleton within a year of hatching. Thus, even if migration patterns caused stresses to the body that could show up in the skeleton, they probably wouldn't be visible in the Hesperonis. They just didn't grow enough after the first year to show this kind of seasonal skeletal marking, similar to penguins today. This could be interpreted in two ways. One, the animals got big enough, quickly enough, to be able to migrate long distances soon after hatching. Or two, the animals got big enough, quickly enough, to be able to tolerate long, cold winters. Unfortunately, we can't tell from the evidence at hand. Like penguins, the Hesperonis was flightless and aquatic, spending most of its life in the water. It had tiny stubs of wings, with some sources even suggesting these wings were completely internal which, unlike penguin wings, would not have been much use while swimming. Instead, it would have used its powerful legs and feet to propel itself along under the water. It would have been an agile swimmer and a good diver. It had a long neck and a beak that was well adapted to catching fish, with sharp teeth running the length of the lower jaw and at the back of the upper jaw. These adaptions made it at home in the water would have also meant that on land it was very cumbersome perhaps only being able to shuffle around, similar to seals. Here in the game Ark Survival Evolved, the Hesperonis is one of the shoulder pets, an animal that will happily sit on your shoulder as you play. However, in reality, this would probably be fairly uncomfortable. The Hesperonis was around 6 feet long, and could weigh around 20 pounds, that's about 9 kilograms. It's not something I'd want sitting on my shoulder for long periods of time. One fascinating thing about the fossils of the Hesperonis is that some of them give us evidence for their predators. Fossils of this bird have been found in the stomach contents of a large mosasaur. One fossil Hesperonis has showed evidence of an injury caused by an attack by a plesiosaur. This injury happened while the bird was a juvenile. It obviously escaped the predator as the wound healed and the bird grew to maturity. The first fossils of the Hesperonis were found by Professor O.C. Marsh on July the 25th in 1871 in Kansas. Even though Marsh was accompanied by United States troops, the extreme cold and the danger from hostile Native Americans made careful exploration impossible. Marsh returned the next year with a larger party and stronger troops and made more discoveries, including an almost complete skeleton of Hesperonis. Professor O.C. Marsh is infamous for his bitter rivalry with fellow paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope, and the pair have frequently been mentioned in this series. This rivalry, known as the Bone Wars, was partially sparked off by Cope accidentally receiving a box of fossils meant for Marsh. Marsh accused Cope of stealing them, and soon after this, their rivalry descended into open hostility. This box of fossils contained, among others, the Hesperonis. Well that's all I have for you this week and as always I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below and I hope to see you next time here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.